the latest episode of my Baby Pips Forex Education video series, where I'm taking all the Baby Pips Forex Education and putting it into a bite sized video series for you guys. So, if you like the sound of that, all I ask for is that you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. So, in this particular series, we're looking at grade four, which is everything to do with moving averages. And today, we're going to be talking about how to use moving averages as dynamic support and resistance levels and if you missed any of the previous episodes the link is down below for the full playlist so don't forget to check that one out so in this education series we're going to be talking about how we can use moving averages as you know support and resistance levels and it talks about it from a single uh, moving average to multiple moving averages lines so this is what we're going to go to and we've got what we're going to do we're going to head over to trading view and go show you a live example of current price action and how relevant this is in today's <clears throat> trading world so what we have here we have the euro usd daily chart on trading view and if you've not used trading view it's the number one trading platform the link is down below it is absolutely free uh, to create an account <clears throat> And what I have here is I've got the 50 uh, period EMA, which is the exponential moving averages. And what you can see here is that <clears throat> clearly that the Euro USD <clears throat> apologies, has been in a downturn um, since, you know, its highs back in late May last year. And what we can clearly see here is if I get the uh, drawing tool up with this 50 EMA, you can see that the 50 EMA has been used multiple times <clears throat> uh, as uh, uh, as resistance, even just at the beginning of August. So a lot of people ask is, is when you go in trend trade, for example, is, oh, I've, I've, I've missed the trade. So let's just say we're at this point over here and you're like, I've missed this com uh, complete move. You've had three opportunities since then to get into this trade. And we've had areas where we've climbed um, above <clears throat> the 50 period moving average. But you can see that these are fake outs and uh, we have uh, dropped straight back down into this level. So if I uh, remove these drawings <clears throat> and what the article or the uh, series talks about as well is if we use two moving averages. So <clears throat> if you remember in the previous episode, we talk about how you can use multiple moving averages to find entry positions into trades. And ones that we talked about was the uh, crossover. So in that example, you would enter this trade and you would still be in this trade over here uh, for pretty much the best part of um, uh, a year. Um, inside this particular trade in the downturn. However, what you can see here, you can see two two things here when you add another moving averages in terms of support and resistance. So from a resistance point of view, you've got price hitting the 100, 100, and 100 over here quite, quite comfortably. <clears throat> and what we talk about here is, is zones. So in this gap you've got between the 50 and 100 is is what people call you know the kind of zone or golden zone or rain zone and when price gets in between your two moving averages those are areas to either add to your position or potentially take money off the table for uh, for a reversal so again but you can see here that using two moving averages gives you information in terms of it being inside this range and <clears throat> This is where this is the first part of the education. And when we go on to later episodes, we'll be looking at other indicators and how we can combine those from a confluence point of view to give you a better trading decision on whether you should be continuing in this trade or getting out of this trade. But for now, this is what we this is what uh, we wanted to talk about is how you can use um, moving averages as support and resistance. And again, it it works. It works both ways, right? So if you look at it uh, from this area over here, we've got a support on the 100 and then you've got support here and, you know, and in the zone inside the uptrend where obviously moving averages doesn't work that well is when you are kind of inside this choppy, 
choppy range over here where you can get a lot of fake outs where moving averages work really well is when you're either downtrending or or uptrending in a in a particular kind of range or way so i really hope you've enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe depending on where you are in terms of when you watch this video the next episode should be on the screen for you otherwise the playlist is there it's down below for the next episode and i should see you guys in the next video